In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make tropical pop or tropical house sounding plucks. It's gonna sound like this. What's up my producer friends, I'm David with AnotherMonsterProductions.com. If you're new to the channel, I have a bunch of other Citrus sound design tutorials and just FL Studio related content in general on here. So check that stuff out if you're interested. If you don't know, Citrus is a stock FL Studio plugin that comes with all versions of FL Studio from the producer edition onward. So as long as you have at least the producer edition of FL Studio, you're gonna be able to follow along with everything in this tutorial. Let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm inside FL Studio 20. I do have a chord progression, which I created for the video. If you wanna pause the video so that you can copy what I did uh, and follow along with the tutorial better, feel free to go ahead and do that. But the first thing that I wanna do when I have my Citrus loaded up is go up here to our plugin options. We're gonna bring this down, go to presets, and then we're gonna go to default preset. So this is going to give us a sine wave, which should sound like this. And we're actually gonna be using the sine wave for this pluck sound. And by the way, I am gonna have this preset as a free download in the description of this video if you guys wanna get that. So the first thing that I wanna do is go to where it says ORD, and this is the amount of voices. So I'm gonna bring this up to five. And because of the settings that we have going on here, primarily the phase, we do get kind of a little bit of a plucky sound out of it already. So the next thing that I wanna do is go to my operator one, and we're gonna go ahead and go to my volume tab, and then make sure you're in your envelope. Let's go ahead and enable it. And I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, sort of a plucky shape here. So right around here. And I actually wanna leave the sustain up a little bit. Let's leave it at about 20%. And then I can extend this a little bit. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a natural reverb sound. And then also if I were to hold the note out, you have some sustain going on there. So that sounds pretty good for now. The next thing that I want to do is go ahead and root this through a filter. So let's go to our matrix section and I'm going to bring the out off. So bring it to 0%, it'll take it off. And now nothing, no sound should be coming out. I'm going to go down here to where it says filter one and bring the out up there and then still nothing should be coming out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and bring my operator one all the way up here. And now it should sound pretty much the same as before. But I do have some uh, filtering going on in our filter section. So by default, it's a state variable filter type and the cutoff is set to uh, 50% and we're on low pass filter mode. So we do have a low pass filter going on here, which is going to help us in the next step, which we wanna go ahead and go to our operator two. And what I wanna try and do here is create sort of a percussive sound to layer on top of the other already pluck sound that we have, which should hopefully make this sound a little bit more tropical housey. And how I wanna do this in Citrus is with a pitch envelope. So this is our pitch envelope knob here. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our pitch tab and then make sure you're in envelope. We can go ahead and enable this. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, just make a pretty tight pitch. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and turn this to the off position and I'm gonna bring this up. So now we're just doing the pitch envelope. So you can kind of hear what it, what it sounds like if I mess with the pitch. The next thing I want to do is go back into my volume tab because you can hear kind of how it how it holds out longer than we want it to. Uh, so volume tab, envelope mode, once again, we'll enable it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little thing like this. So about there is pretty good. We're just trying to get a percussive sound. It's pretty low at the moment, so I'm gonna bring this ratio up to seven. And then we can kind of mess with the pitch envelope to, to find where we want it. And I found that around 18,000 cents ish somewhere in here sounded pretty good. So now in my matrix tab, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this to the off position again. And I'm going to bring my original plucky sound up and then we're gonna mix in the um, operator two, which is this new percussive sound. So let's take a listen to that. And 
We can mess with the tension here to kind of make it even more plucky. But honestly, right around there sounds pretty good. So I brought this up to 60% here to mix pretty nicely with that original pluck. And now I can go ahead and start adding some effects on here. So I'm gonna bring the effects up. Um, let's bring it up to about 70%, which is adding a little bit of chorus by default. And then I wanna add some reverb on here as well. Okay, so it's starting to sound a little bit better. Now I wanna be able to control the amount of reverb pretty easily in this preset. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go to my Mod X and I'm gonna link reverb to the Mod X here. And if I go back into my main tab, now I can change the Mod X and have more reverb or less reverb. So like 80% sounds pretty good. 75, 80%, somewhere in there. And that just gives us a little bit more flexibility in this preset. While I'm on this uh, main tab, let me go ahead and boost the EQ just a little bit in the mid range here. So maybe like three decibels or something. Try about 2.2K Hertz. I mean, you can, you can play with this a little bit and boost it more or less. That sounds pretty good in there. And now let me go back into my effects section and I'm just gonna add a little bit of a, a delay on here as well. And we're just gonna bring the volume down. Um, let's try 29%. Maybe like 25% delay volume. And then we can set that to ping pong. and I can mess with the uh, offset. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know anytime I release videos in the future. Right now I'm doing tutorials about once a week and those usually come out on Friday or Saturday. So keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions about anything or tutorial requests, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at anothermonster1. Also, if you feel like you're really struggling with music production, sound design, anything in between, and you feel like you just need a little bit of extra help I am doing one-on-one -on -one private lessons, which you can sign up for on my website at anothermonsterproductions.com. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video if you guys want to sign up for that. And while you're there, be sure to take advantage of the free stuff I'm giving away in the description of this video as well. I've got a sample pack and an ebook, which you can download for free. You just need to enter your email address and I'll send that stuff over to you. And as always, I will see you in the next video.